Hi, welcome to Julie's Yard and Garden. Today we're going to be talking about growing your own bean sprouts. I highly recommend it, it's extremely simple. These are mung beans, and you can put them in Chinese food, you can put them on salads. I like to just sit and munch on them, I think they're so good. The very first time I went to get some, I just went to a health food store, and in their bulk bin they had some of these, so I just got a few ounces, spent maybe two dollars, and I had enough seeds, if you will, or mung beans, um, to make several crops of bean sprouts. Then I went to the Asian market near my house and I went full guns and bought a whole bag. If you end up with too many bean sprouts, you'll end up throwing them away and I hate to throw things away. So I have found that for me, about a tablespoon of mung beans will do the trick. So you put them in a little tiny bowl and then you cover them with water. Make sure that there's ample water so they won't absorb all of it, so in the morning it'll be still covered in water. So I've added about an eighth of a cup of water, and I'll just leave these on my counter, and in the morning they will have about doubled in size. The next day, the mung beans have been sitting, it's been about 24 hours, and you can see how much they have absorbed the water. This particular batch ended up absorbing a little bit more water than I anticipated and this morning I ended up putting in a little bit more water in the bowl. The next thing that you need after you've got your mung beans soaked is a colander or anything that's got holes in it so that when you uh, put the mung beans in there you can water them and the water will drain out. They're not supposed to sit in water, they're just supposed to be moistened. I usually put mine inside of another bowl like so and then when I water it if there's any water that drips it can go into the bowl underneath and it won't get in your cupboard or wherever you end up keeping this. So all I do now is I take my paper towel I put it in the bottom of the colander and then I take my mung beans and pour them on top of the paper towel and I like to spread them out a little bit so that they're not on top of each other. Just put them in a nice single layer. I'm going to run this under the water just to moisten the paper towel. Now that the paper towel is moistened, I'll go ahead and set it inside the other bowl, like so. And then what you do is you cover it with a towel or something else so that light can't get in. After I have my beans all covered up, I set them inside my cupboard and then I just shut the doors and let them grow there. Every day, night and morning, you're going to take your beans out of the cupboard. You'll take them out of the bowl that they are in. Rinse them very gently under a little tiny bit of water, let them drain, and then back in the bowl and the cupboard they go. I think they're done. So I'm just going to rinse them off and put them on a plate so you can see them. So from the one tablespoon of mung beans, I ended up with 2.5 ounces of bean sprouts. I'm not quite sure how much that would cost at your grocery store, but this will keep me in bean sprouts for at least a week. Um, one thing I need to mention is that in the winter time, especially in my house, my kitchen will sometimes get cold, so it took a little bit longer to grow these than it would if it was the middle of July. So temperature 
where you're growing them plays a, a large part in how long it takes them to get to a decent size. Until next time, grow something you love and just have fun with it. And if there's something that you'd like to learn about, go ahead and leave it in the comments below.